I have three main sources of inspiration in my paintings. The human form, nature, and in particular trees, and also the mythological basis of much of nature. And so, for example, in a painting like this one, Birch Queen, I have taken the idea that the birch was originally the queen of a forest. And so using the female form, I have attempted to allow the forms to create the birch trees. And so we have, in fact, a whole row of birch tree trunks growing up through the painting. Now, with regard to Oak King, again I've picked up the mythological basis because the oak is a tree sacred to the god, the Scandinavian god Thor. Thor was the god of thunder and lightning. <clears throat> and so here I have the idea of the male human form picking out various lines which now become the tree. So you've got the, feet, the male form, the, um, the oak tree and of course the mythology <clears throat> and in this case many of the lines were actually created by painting over a larger area and narrowing them down with the color um, over here <clears throat> i have the painting egeria which is based upon the legend of the water nymph who lived in a lake in the middle of a forest at Nemi in Italy. And she was the source of much inspiration for the people of that area. The forest at Nemi is the place that contained the Golden Bough, which became the title of a very famous book on mythology by Fraser. Sometimes I find the um, there is no need to add any mythology into the work because what we have instead is just a tree which says, I want to be painted. <coughs> and this one is on the Blenheim estate on the A12, going north up to um, Yarmouth. And here you can see just a very beautiful tree. I saw it, I fell in love with it, and decided I got to paint it. And this is the result. <coughs> 